Hi guys, I know a lot of you requested this video um, to disassemble the LG V10, so let's go ahead and do this baby. Alright guys, the first thing you are gonna do is obviously take off the back cover, take the battery out, take the micro SD card out, take the micro SD card out, well, you can probably leave it in, but we'll take it out just as a security measure. Okay, so the first thing, all the LGs are really easy to take apart. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11, 12 screws. There may be, uh, is that 13? There may be some hidden screws, just so, so be aware. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these. Alright, I think I have removed all the screws. Uh, there may be a hidden screw here as you can see. So, uh, no, it's not a hidden screw. Alright, we're good to go. There's usually a tab you can pull. Just kind of pull it out. There we go. So I gotta pull it out here. Slowly, I'll pull the rest out. You can go ahead and use a, some kind of plastic tool. Don't use anything that's not plastic. It's kind of go all the way through. Alright, and at this point, everything else, there we go. So everything pops out, and boom shakalaka, baby. It should look something like this. I'm gonna put the screws over here. So let me give you a quick close-up here. Obviously, this part contains uh, the buttons for your phone and also the fingerprint sensor a mechanism I think there's some uh, chip here and then it connects to the main board all right so we're gonna put these aside next we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get uh, the rest of it out so I think we can go ahead and do all the screws the side rails also come out so do all undo all these screws for the rails now remember to um, that the bottom screw for the rail uh, it's already screw unscrewed, so you just need to remember uh, the first three screws for the rails when you reassemble it. Just the first three screws, okay, from the top. So just just be aware of that. Okay, uh, so we have the rail should now come off. This thing just snaps off. Nope. Does it? All right, this one just snaps off, as you can see. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and try to take the board out here. Oh, it just kind of pulls out. All right. And it's connected by uh, these things here. Make sure you undo this bottom thing here. I think this is to an LCD screen. All right, and go ahead and undo this one for your 3.5 millimeter head jack. And boom shakalaka. So we got the motherboard out now. All right, the motherboard, this is what it looks like. And on the back, if you if you need to replace the front camera, uh, the two cameras, you can go ahead and pull this out and replace it. If you need to replace this main camera, you can also pull this out and replace it. All right, but the USB port is baked in, so you can't just replace the USB if it breaks, so just try to not to break it, I guess. All right, that's the motherboard, and let's see if we can get uh, some of this other stuff out. All right, you're gonna have to take this out, I think, before you can get to the rails. It's just a uh, plastic adhesive, so I just pulled it out. That's all you need to do. Put this over here. And now the rails come off, all right? The steel rails just pop out. So to pull the right side out, so pull this one out, just go ahead and slide it up a little bit and it pulls out like that. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and show you what the parts look like now. That's it. So that's how you disassemble the LG V10. All right, so the main part here is the display. Now if your display breaks for some reason, 
what you can do is uh, order the part with the whole display. Go ahead and order the display with the frame assembly. They usually sell the whole frame with uh, everything on it. So that's what I would do. So definitely you just need to replace all of this. Uh, it, the new part should come with everything on here uh, except for maybe the vibrator. You can just pull this out and put it in the new one. Uh, it should come with the new speakers, but if it doesn't, you can also pull this out and all the sensors, you can go ahead and pull it on, on the new one. It's going to be called the digitizer with frame assembly. So get that. You, you can try to replace the screen only, uh, but I don't recommend it since this has two screens actually. You can see uh, the actual screen. Uh, it's a funky looking screen here. So I don't recommend it. Uh, but if you absolutely want to, you can also try to do that. And interesting to note, um, this is actually glass down here where the um, this logo goes. So I don't know why they made it like that. But that's pretty much it for disassembly. Um, this video should help you disassemble your LG V10. If anything breaks on it, you can replace the camera. You can go ahead and replace the whole motherboard. Uh, maybe the steel rails, you dropped it. We'll go ahead and test this out real quick. Let me give you a quick strength test of the stainless steel. Uh, how strong is it? I don't want to do a bend test. Well, let's do a quick bend test. Um, just kind of giving it mild force. And it is a pretty a strong stainless steel. It is actually pretty heavy. So this is what is protecting the size of your phone. And I think I really like this. Got two of them. This is what weighs down your phone, most of it. But it's all stainless steel. All this is like hard stainless steel. And if you want, you can go ahead and um, use some spray paint and color it any of your favorite colors. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble, reassemble our phone here. It should be pretty easy to do. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is obviously put this frame back on, put it in here and slide it up so it aligns with the screw screws here. All right, that's nicely in there. All right, this one also carefully place in there, slide up. And once it's slide up, it shouldn't it shouldn't pull out. So that's right in there. And next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the bottom part back on. So you're going to simply just place it right over like that and then just snap it in there. There we go, snaps in there. All right. That's in there nicely. We're going to go ahead and I put the front back on also. Well, you know what? Let's do that after we put the motherboard back on. For the motherboard, just go ahead and place it back in there. I love LG's products because they're so easy to disassemble. There's actually nothing to it. Make sure the cameras are in there. A little bit harder to get it in there. All right, go ahead and do the LCD plug here. I believe this is the LCD plug. Whatever is the biggest, like a flex connector that looks like this, it is usually the LCD. All right. Okay, just kind of pat it down, pat it down real quick. All right. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put the front tab. Just go ahead and align the two tabs. There you go, and it should just kind of pop in there. All right, that's it. And then we're going to go ahead and do the screws for the steel rails. So the first three screws from the top. Do one. And these are these the the screws for rails are actually smaller, so make sure you use the small screws. Otherwise, probably not a good idea. third one there. Next we're going to go ahead and do the other side. First three screws from the top where the camera sits. And next we're going to go ahead and put the frame back on. All right. Go ahead and just pop it in there. Alright, and we're going to put all the screws back on and we should be good to go here. And hopefully everything works. Mm -hmm. 
And voila, make sure everything is flush. As you can see here, everything is flush. Should look like that. Make sure there's no gaps or whatsoever. All right, go ahead and put your nano SIM back, uh, micro SD if you got one. Put the battery back in. Put the back cover back in. And you can see everything is flush. All right, everything is just flush. Go ahead and turn on your phone. And go ahead and enjoy your phone again. Now, if you're replacing the screen because you broke it, um, now you should be able to enjoy your new phone. But let me give you a close-up uh, of the sides. You can see everything is flush here. Nothing is um, not flush. Right? It's just good as new. LG makes their phones very easy to disassemble. Obviously, because when it's easy to disassemble, it's easy for them to assemble when they actually make the phone. Um, also, very, very easy to repair. So the first thing you should do, um, check the sound. All right, the sound is working. And the next thing you should really check is the camera. All right, the back camera is working and the front camera is working fine. And that's pretty much all you have to check. Uh, other than that, that's all good to go. That's how you can disassemble your LG V10. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, I stay...